What's up? It's Chris from Stone Fox Media, and I hope everyone's having a blessed day. Now, I have some breaking news for you guys, okay? This is coming from the Wall Street Journal. They're basically saying that Nintendo is going to introduce a brand new Nintendo Switch model next year. That a brand new Nintendo Switch is coming in 2019. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is just when they change the skew up and they may add in like some regular parts. Well, it looks like this may not be the case. It looks like uh, Nintendo is looking at changing out the hardware, Add, i.e. adding in brand, like a brand new OLED screen, uh, swapping out the current uh, LED one or uh, LCD one for a brand new OLED display. Uh, they're changing uh, software, certain things like that about it. And so it's pretty unclear what they're doing at this point, but based on the vendors that the Wall Street Journal was able to contact, they said that they are switching this whole entire thing out. And they expect it to come out uh, sometime in mid next year to be announced and maybe sometime towards the end of the year. So they want to beef up the software and beef up the hardware to make it more powerful. Okay. When, when I hear about this, the first thing I think is cool. The second thing is, this is Nintendo. Nintendo is cheap. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't care what anybody says. Nintendo is cheap. They're a cheap company. They like to do cheap stuff. And I don't see Nintendo saying, hey, let's get let's put in an OLED display in here to make it like super smart and bright and happy. It's a possibility. I mean, a lot of people don't like the downgrade. Like when they have it docked and then they undock it and then they get a lower screen resolution. People aren't enjoying that. And so if Nintendo can go ahead and fix that and make sure it's always 1080p, that could be a really cool thing. Okay. People don't like that. Uh, so I, hopefully that actually happens. Again, it's Nintendo. Nintendo is cheap. Maybe they'll make it so that it doesn't bend. Maybe they'll actually add in things like, I don't know, uh, storage oh no wow yeah like actual storage like built in i don't even know just just take a memory stick and crack it open and throw it in there how, how about that but nintendo's cheap so take this with a grain of salt i'm gonna take it with a grain of salt i'm not trying to trash on it but take it with a grain of salt nintendo's cheap and we all know it now moving on from that uh, this is some new news that is actually coming from uh uh Treyarch, it does look like they have announced uh, the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 uh, Summit map. Now, this is from the original Black Ops series, so they're going to be uh, remastering this whole entire thing. They showed us a sneak peek right here that this is what it looks like, so that's pretty cool. Them actually, you know, going out and whipping up old stuff. I think that's really cool. I'm sorry, I just do. Uh, they did a really good job with this game considering it doesn't have a story. I think it should have had a story. I mean, even if it just had like a three hour story or something like a, at least try it on some level. I think their zombies is going to have a more uh, it's going to have a story esque kind of thing. But I honestly think they should have had a story. At least I, come on, throw us a three hour story. Come on, man. But other, outside of that, I mean, with the multiplayer and the whole entire battle royale thing, they actually did a really good job with this. So uh, I would have liked a little bit more smoother graphics, but. Outside of that, it looks like a pretty complete game. And they also have announced that uh, they're getting a new map called Morocco. And it takes place in a Moroccan village that uh, where rebels were using the government supply planes as, a, as target practice. How will we know that? You don't have a story. You don't have a story. It'd be nice if you had a story. Then that would have been a lot more compelling the place in Morocco, because we wouldn't know why you're even in Morocco. But it doesn't matter because it's multiplayer, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to shoot stuff. And when you talk about Call of Duty and shooting stuff and doing stuff like that, of course you have to run into a story like this. Now, this is late breaking news, and it looks like it's coming from a brand new store study that has basically confirmed a link between violent video games and physical aggression. That's right, all the anger, all the rage, all the stuff. You can blame it all on video games now. We will, people have been having this debate for years. You already know my stance on it. Okay. We're all sinful creatures. We're all selfish. We were, people were killing people since Cain and Abel. And all they had was rocks. Rocks. There was nobody else to hate. It wasn't like a whole bunch of people, a hate groups. It was like your own brother. So, no, I'm sorry. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. But based on this international study, it does look like, uh, 17,000 adolescents have been uh, monitored uh, from age 9 to 19 from 2010 to 2017. And it is shown that there has been increased aggression over time. Again, we all need more Jesus 
and we need a whole lot less of us. We start looking like him. We start stop looking like us being so angry. Just let him change your life. Jesus is awesome. Now, in this study, this comes from like U.S., Canada, Germany, Japan. People who play violent video games such as Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, Manhunt, all exhibited behavior that could get them sent to the principal's office for fighting or hitting a non-family member. Now, they say that no single research project is actually definitive, but they did want to give, give people more information on it. So this person, Jay Hull, that's coming from this uh, wonderful study-based place, is basically saying that there has been associated instances in physical aggression when it comes to playing these games. And so he came up with these with this theory. He basically said, uh, a lot of people ask, do these games call kids to have to behave aggressively? I would say that that's a possibility. The other possibility is that uh, it's a really bad sign. If your kids are playing these games, either these games are having a warping effect on the on the child or basically your child is already warped because they're attracted to these types of games. Okay. Okay, again, we're all sinful human beings. We all fall short. We all need Jesus. This is not a video game problem. I will say this again and again and again. People have been playing video games since video games are even a thing. People have been playing with toys. Boys have been playing with games with trucks and stuff and making them smash together and make explosion noises going. Pew, pew, pew. We've been doing this forever. This is nothing new. Okay, this is nothing new. You give a boy a stick and he's got a sword automatically. So it, that's just how it happens. Okay, so it's not physical aggression. It's just cool. Okay, so when I play Call of Duty, I'm not thinking like as soon as I play Call of Duty, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to plot some stuff. No, that's not how it works. It's a heart problem, everybody. It's a heart problem. I will say this time and time again. Now, listen. Based on the logic of this study, they should probably monitor, like, Dance Dance Revolution. And all the people that play Just Dance or Dance Dance Revolution, you should see a rash of outbreaks of, like, dancing and and dance battles they should be happening all over the place we stomp the yard everywhere you go okay there should be like all kinds of stomp the yard michael jackson beat it situations taking place all over the place but i wonder if that's not going to happen because even though you play just dance or dance dance revolution or whatever kind of dance games you got going on right now odds are you're probably not going to bust a move in the middle of the street wearing a bear costume it's going to roll a dice on it because they don't lead to an outbreak of boogieing. Just figured I'd put that out there. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. You know, as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching. God bless. And I'll holla at y'all later.